Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another Decentralized Finance Tutorial. Today we are going to solve a very common ledger error while using ledger with decentralized apps using MetaMask. When you connect your ledger to MetaMask and you are trying to send uh, transactions to smart contracts and it doesn't work, you have an error message, please enable blind messaging, blind transaction, blind contracts in your settings and this error is so annoying and today we are going to fix it for you. So watch this video till the end to learn how to fix it but before we start if you like my content smash that like button to help me to get to many more people that can learn from my videos about DeFi and ledger and cryptocurrencies and also consider to subscribe so anytime I post these kind of videos you will get notification as soon as possible and you can watch them and learn more about DeFi and about crypto. Now every one of us had this error and if you don't know how to solve it now I will solve it very easily for you. Let's say you connected your ledger device to MetaMask and you are sending transactions through the ledger device itself. If it's on Ethereum blockchain, Avalanche, Phantom, Binance Merchant, doesn't matter it's the same methodology. But you are now connected, now I'm connected with my MetaMask browser. The ledger is connected, let's just unlock it. My ledger device right here, as you can see, this is the ledger. It's connected now to the MetaMask browser extension using a Firefox. And now I'm trying to uh, actually do a swap in PancakeSwap. So I'm trying to call a smart contract, the PancakeSwap router smart contract. And let's see what error do I get. So I'm trying to swap 0.001 BNB to Cake. And I'm clicking the swap button right here and there there will be a prompt. There should be a prompt waiting for confirmation. Why there is no prompt? Let's refresh the page and try again. Probably some kind of bug. There are some bugs with the MetaMask with Ledger when you combine them together. Just try to refresh the page, sometimes close the browser, reopen the browser. But in that case, it's just super, super slow. Let's meanwhile select the cake, 0.001, swap, confirm swap. Okay, now we have a prompt on MetaMask. Now we are going to approve the transaction to confirm it. And now there's supposed to be a pop-up for us to approve it on the Ledger, but we get this kind of error message. Let's try to show you. Blind signing, blind signing must be enabled in settings. So we cannot send, we cannot confirm the transactions uh, because we have this kind of error message on the ledger. And on the punk swap app, we have swap failed object object, some kind of unknown uh, error. If we open the MetaMask uh, extension, we'll see swap exact ETH for tokens. And you can see uh, that the transaction did not went through, it failed. So in order to solve it out, you have to click again these kind of two buttons in order to go back to the settings. And now, you are, while you are inside the Ethereum app, inside the ledger, you have to go until you find settings. So this is quit until you find settings. When you find settings, you, double, you click these kind of two buttons. And now you have blind signing. You see that right now it's not enable. In order, in order to enable it, I will just click the two buttons and it will change right away, you see, from not enabled to enabled. Now I can go back, just click here, back. And now the next time that I will send a transaction using the MetaMask and Ledger, it will actually work and I will see the prompt, the right prompt in the transaction. Let's test this is out. Now I will click swap again. Confirm swap. And now we have again the prompt on our MetaMask extension. I will click confirm. And this time you can see that I can see that I have this screen. Instead there I have review transaction and I can go all the way to the right and I can actually click accept and send. And once I will click accept and send, the transaction will go through and the MetaMask, it will be signed here it will be prepared on the ledger using the private key in the ledger memory and then it will be went which will sent to the metamask as a signed transaction and the metamask will broadcast it 
to the blockchain using the RPC nodes of Binance Smart Chain that he has in the settings. So this is basically how it works. This is how we, I don't gonna send, I'm not gonna send this transaction now because I don't want to swap the tokens, but this is how it works. So this is how you fix this kind of annoying issue with the ledger, with sending transactions to smart contract. It's actually a way of the ledger to protect you from sending uh, transactions by mistake to smart contracts. And this is simply how you solve it. Let me know if you have any questions in the, com in the comments below. And if you like my content, again, consider subscribing, telling about the channel to your friends and smashing this like button for the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it so much that you watch these videos and you learn with me and you're with me in this journey together. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.